All right, today we're gonna to smoke a turkey in the smokehouse. We're gonna, you know, for those of y'all that's wanting to try something a little bit different on the Thanksgiving turkey this year, this is this is the way I'm fixing to do it. Y'all watch this right here. All right, I got a 14 pound turkey right here. Y'all probably saw me cook uh, cook one of those uh, those two hens on the smokehouse, I don't know, a little time ago. Anyway, it turned out really good, super tender, super moist. I mean, it, it was just, awesome the way I did it. Anyway, I want y'all to try this right here. Oh, you don't have to have a smokehouse like I've got. You could do it on the barbecue pit and then put it in the oven or whatever you wanted to do to finish it up. You know, you just get that smoke taste. But uh, this is what we're going to do right here. All right, what I'm going to do first is, I've, you know, I've thawed it out, got all this stuff out of it. It's a 14 pound butterball turkey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, I've got uh, two bell peppers, one onion, and uh, three jalapenos. And I'm just gonna mix it up. I'm gonna shove it in there. Just pack it as much as I can get in here. Just inside that uh, turkey. We're gonna try it now. I may chip up some more after I get, you know, after I smoke it, and then before right before I put it in that big roasting pan, I may uh, put chip up another onion. You know, on uh, and bell pepper. Put you know on top of it. But all this is going to do is just make this thing just, you know, cook it right through the meat. And if you don't like this, you don't have to do this. I didn't do this with the chickens. I'm just going to try it with this turkey right here. I don't think I'm going to be able to show too much more in here. We're stuffing the turkey. Ooh, love this time of the year right here, y'all. That's about all I can get in there. Well, let's try this right here. Now. This is the good stuff right here, folks. What I did is I melted four sticks of butter. I put uh, garlic, salt, and a little bit of dales. A lot of people don't know what this is, but this is just a steak seasoning, but it's for any meat, fish, chicken, poultry, pork, whatever. I mean, it is, it's good for anything. This time it's gonna be good for turkey. All right, four sticks of butter, some dales, and some uh, garlic salt got the injector with the big needle that way the garlic and the garlic salt won't clog it up <clears throat> stir that up really good now you don't have to use four sticks I'm just using this I can baste with it later pumping it full let it sit for a second because what it'll do is it'll all squirt out on you if you ain't careful. And you just put as much as it'll hold anyway. Now, you don't want to use a whole lot of this Dale's in this little recipe right here because it, we, it is super salty. You get the low sodium kind or you can get mowers. A lot of people use mowers. It's a little less salty than uh, Dale. As soon as that, that cool turkey will, you know, sort of, it'll take that butter and turn it, you know, back to uh, solid so it won't run. So, you know, now once you start cooking it, it's gonna run everywhere, so be careful. You'll get your fire fired, you know, roaring if you ain't careful. See that squirting out on me. I'm gonna put some more right in there. Yeah. Yeah, now this right here. Hey, this is gonna be good, y'all. This is gonna be good. Now, I'm gonna do the wings and all, because let me tell you around here, we don't waste nothing. We eat everything. Yep, look like he's fixing to fly away now. Watch that wing right there. <laughs> I 
And you can take some and put, him, put it inside of him too. You know? Ooh, it's getting slick now. Ooh, y'all, that's gonna be good. This ain't your average turkey right here now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out there and get the smokehouse rolling and uh, I'm gonna put a piece of aluminum foil on that bottom shelf just like I did those hens, if y'all remember watching that, you know, a little while back. I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna smoke it for probably an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Oh, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it in that big oval black roasting pan and I'm gonna probably smother it in uh, maybe onion. I may put some Lipton onion soup mix on the top of him, but I'm gonna smoke it. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna smother it in maybe some bell pepper, maybe some onion and, uh, and cook it for I don't know, probably two hours until it's done or it's tender. You can tell because when you open it up, you can see where it's just, you know, you can tell it's it's, it's uh, done, falling apart. You know. Anyway, let's get this smokehouse going and uh, we'll get to rolling on this thing. All right. About to get good, y'all. That little stove right there is super efficient, too. Probably two loads I can cook for four hours, probably. Yeah. Anyway, uh, just put the turkey in there. Let's see if it's all caught up right here and let you look at it anyway. I should have videoed putting it in there, but whoo, look at there, boy. She's battling it out, ain't she? Mm. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke it like this for about an hour. And uh, and then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it in a big roasting pot. I'm going to stick it back in there. And uh, that way it won't dry out. Probably cook it for another two hours in that roasting pot in the smokehouse. Like I said, you don't have to have a smokehouse. You could put it, uh, you could barbecue it for a little bit on your on your uh, pit and then uh, put it in the oven in a roasting pot and you're still gonna have the same thing. I mean, it's still gonna be just as good. You'll still have that smoke flavor. The only thing putting it in that roasting pot does is just keeps it from drying it out. You know, it keeps it cooking in its own juices. And y'all saw I had that thing stuffed in, you know, stuffed it full of bell pepper and jalapeno peppers and onion. Oh, let me tell you, it's gonna be good, y'all. Anyway, it's about to start smelling good around here any minute now. Y'all hang in there. All right, here we go. Been in there about an hour. Oh, I'm fixing to take it out real quick. We're gonna, if it'll fit, we're gonna put it in this big roasting pot right here. If it'll fit. Right. I don't know if y'all can see that. Look at that right there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's gonna be good. I may have to have a ratchet strap to put this thing in this so pot right here to hold the lid down but we're gonna try it anyway let me close this up right here hold that heat in there as long as we can now i need something well pretty clean hang up oh yeah all right all that butter and stuff that was in there Okay, now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some Lipton onion soup mix, just one packet. I'm gonna try this right here. This will sort of, uh, you know, put some seasoning on the outside. Of it. take that gravy we take that gravy that you know that cook that runs off of that right there and we can make uh, we can make something else with it you know mm. I wish y'all could smell it. it smells so good like I said what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put this bad boy back in there and find me a block or something to put on top of it or a rock or something to hold it down too big Just stick it back in there now I'll find something. Put it on top of it. Get that rack off top of it. That way I can put, uh, 
put me a rock on top of it and hold it down. to it. Woo. Anyway, let me tell you, that's rough right there, but well, we got it anyway. Sometimes you got to uh, improvise a little bit. Smelling good though, y'all. Can't wait. All right, it's been in there for about an hour, and I want to check it. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, just to make sure we ain't uh, Ooh, it's hot in there now, let me tell you. It ain't smoking no more, it's just hot. Get my big rock off the top here. see that right there oh huh. that's a turkey i don't know if you can see the all the juice in the bottom but there's a bunch of it i see just how how close we are need to rock no more. All right, we're going to put it back in there for possibly another hour. Yep, one more hour and we should be good. I just stoked it back up with wood. Don't need to rock no more. <laughs> it's shrinking on down now. Ooh, it's gonna be good y'all. Y'all hang in there. We'll be eating pretty soon. All right, it's been another hour. Let's check it out. This is uh, two hours in the pot and one hour, you know, just smoking, the, getting that smoke flavor through the turkey. And listen y'all, you don't have to have, you don't have to have a smokehouse and you know, you don't have to have all this stuff. You can do this in a barbecue pit and uh, you can barbecue it for 30 minutes to an hour, you know, slow, and then you can uh, you can put it in one of those big roasting pots and put it in the oven for, you know, say a couple of hours on 300, 350, 400, something like that, and uh, that'll work good too. This right here is just, you know, I've already got it going. I may as well use what I've got. Uh, but anyway, let's get it out and check it and just make sure that it's done. I don't, I don't know, it may have to go a little bit longer. You just sort of play this by ear. When we pulled it out a while ago, it was at 140. Let's see what else. Let's see what it is now. Yeah, Woo! I know it's hot in here. Good pressure. Oh, it smells so good. Busting apart right there, that way you know it's done when it starts coming apart. Just make sure. Yep, 160. Oh, yeah. 
We all the way up to 180. Nope. 190. It's done, y'all. Y'all look at this right here. Is that? Look at the juice in the bottom of it right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. But anyway, like I said, you don't have to do it like that right there. You can uh, you can do it in the uh, oven the same way. You know, barbecue it and get that smoke flavor. Oh, uh, you don't want to smoke it, you know, for two or three hours or whatever, because all it's going to do is dry it out. That's why I only left it in there for uh, for an hour. And then that way you get that smoke flavor and then you put the lid on it and put it back in there and let it cook for another two hours and hey it's gonna be so good y'all y'all give that a shot for uh thanksgiving and like i said you can you can you can mix it any any way you want to your your uh, injectable stuff i mean no uh, or you could stuff it with whatever you want to if you don't like the onions and the bell peppers i mean there's always other you know alternatives a lot of people don't like that kind of flavor oh uh, I just wanted to mix it up and do something different. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all have a great Thanksgiving, and uh, appreciate y'all.